I'm making it the authentic way. Don't drain your Nashville hot chicken and honey mustard and other sauces. Eat it straight. No chaser after that. Let's eat it. Chef Kim Prince from Hotville Chicken here in Los Angeles, California, specifically the Crenshaw District. I am doing authentic Nashville style hot chicken. They're gonna be in for a tongue thrilling ride. Yeah, but it's not just gonna burn going in. You're gonna taste every herb, every spice that's in it. You're gonna feel a tingle when it goes down. Get little beads of sweat, get a little ringing in your ears. It's gonna go down slow. It's gonna come out high. They gave me a picture. They said I might need it. You get the best of both worlds, you get burned twice. Yes. If it's done right. I'm making it the authentic way. I'm making it the real way. My great, great uncle Thornton, Prince in Nashville, Tennessee made it. You know, I'm a bona fide Prince, so, and I'm from Nashville. So I'm gonna give it to you the way I was taught. You'll survive, you'll survive. Yeah, eat the bread, eat the pickles is my suggestion. It helps cut the heat. Don't do the ranch, that's called cheat sauce. Ranch is cheating. She told us to get the rad. <laughs> She's from California, though. I do, though. Honestly, it was really great talking to Chef Kim. And after the camera turned off, she was sort of giving us a lot of warning and a lot of hype. So <laughs> now I'm looking really, I'm looking forward to this a lot. Here's the first bite. Here we go. <coughs> wow. Ooh. It's really tasty. Mm -hmm. I mean, I could tell there's some heat right there. Maybe it's still like early. I can't feel it 100%, but it's really tasty. Mm. Oh, I'm going to combine it with a little bit of this pickle chip, the hot, the sour, cool it down a little bit. You're right. <laughs> she said, don't do it with the ranch. No, I'm just joking. I'm not going to do it with the ranch. True style. That is really good. Can you guys hear that crunch? Your eyes watering? Do you eat this chicken? Nice. Yeah. Which level of spiciness? Mild. Mild? You ever do the Nashville hot? I had it and I used to be lighter than this. And I, when I ate that, it kind of burned me up. So I kind of turned like this. So like, <laughs> I'm already there. I'm already there. <laughs> you got me. Oh, one hiccup. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting a little. You know, from the nose, little sinuses. You're going to feel a tingle when it goes down. I'm handling it. You want some ranch? Yeah. Don't touch your eyes. Got to get that last part in the back. Hardly any chicken in the back over here. It's just all breading. And here's a drumstick. I saw it. I saw it. <laughs> it's, it was caked on right there. And here's a drumstick. I think I'm good. Okay. I'm feeling it. Don't touch the eyes. You've had this one before and you said this is just the right amount of hot for you? Yeah, it's highly mild. And this is considered hot for you, right? Yeah, for me it's considered hot. So this could be like an appetizer for me. Okay, we'll see, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> the juice that just came out, they have some secret method on how to make it, how to keep it very juicy. Juicy central, that's very tasty. Yeah. Mm, not too hot. Don't skip out on the french fries while you're here. That's the first thing that people usually take, right? Is a french fry. This one is coated with some delicious, what I'm assuming secret herbs and spices. Don't skip out on it. That's really good.